The goal of this video is to help you, the organic chemistry student, visualize the equipment, glassware, techniques, and expected outcomes in the organic chemistry lab. Liquid-liquid extraction is the process by which one compound of a mixture is separated from the others according to differential solubility in two non-miscible solvents. In this experiment, we will separate a carboxylic acid from an amine from a neutral organic compound and purify all three separated compounds for further characterization by thin layer chromatography and melting point analysis. We start by tearing or zeroing a centrifuge tube that is held up within a beaker. We weigh out approximately 0.5 grams of the mixture containing all three compounds. Always record the exact mass of measured materials out to the fourth decimal place. It's time to dissolve the solid mixture in approximately 4 milliliters of ethyl acetate. The exact volume is not a critical measurement for this experiment. This is what the mixture looks like before mixing. After it dissolves, add approximately 1.5 milliliters of 10% sodium hydroxide. Cap the centrifuge tube and shake it vigorously. Allow the phases to separate so that you can see two distinct layers. In this case, the aqueous layer is on the bottom and the organic layer is on the top. When you're unsure if a phase is aqueous or organic, add a drop of water and note in which phase it dissolves. Attach a rubber bulb to a long stem pasture pipette, squeeze the bulb and insert the pipette into the centrifuge tube so the pipette tip touches the bottom. Use the pipette to remove the lower layer and store it in a clean 50 milliliter beaker that you label basic extracts. Leave the remaining organic layer in the centrifuge tube for the next extraction. Repeat this extraction two more times using a fresh one and a half mil portion of aqueous sodium hydroxide each time. It's time to isolate the carboxylic acid Carefully add 6 molar hydrochloric acid to the aqueous solution while cooling the solution in an ice bath. Continue small additions of HCl until a pH of approximately 1 is reached using pH paper. Collect the precipitate by vacuum filtration using your Hirsch funnel. The Hirsch funnel should be properly hooked up to the trap in the hood using tie-down tubing. A filter paper is placed in the funnel and rinsed with DI water. Use ice water from your ice water bath to rinse the solids that remain in your beaker. Cold water is best so that we prevent the dissolution and loss of our carboxylic isolate. Allow the solid to dry on the vacuum filtration apparatus while you move on. It's time to isolate the amine from the mixture. Return to the ethyl acetate layer and extract it three times with one and a half mils each of three molar hydrochloric acid. Follow the general procedure you used for the extractions of the carboxylic acid with sodium hydroxide. Combine the acidic aqueous portions in a separate clean 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask that you label acidic extracts. The aqueous solution now contains your soluble ammonium salt. Carefully add 10% sodium hydroxide to the aqueous layer in your Erlenmeyer flask until the solution reaches a pH of about 10. Mix the solution with the glass rod and check the pH of the solution with pH paper. Cool the solution in an ice water bath and collect the resulting precipitate by vacuum filtration using your Hirsch funnel.
step is to isolate the neutral organic compound that remains in our centrifuge tube. Add two to three microspatulafuls of anhydrous sodium sulfate to the ethyl acetate layer in the centrifuge tube and cap. Allow the sodium sulfate drying agent to sit in solution for five minutes to remove any residual water. Pipette out the yellow solution into a separate tube and store for future analysis.